Gentlemen and ladies, today begins our second quarter advanced woodshop project. Shoe shine kit. Shoe shine kit. <clears throat> Remember, what matters isn't so much the shoe shine kit itself, but the making of the shoe shine kit. To that end, I want you to look upon the making of the shoe shine kit as a metaphor of your lives. You okay? Major disaster in shop. What? Line up while I cut each of you the pieces necessary to construct this exciting project. Mr. Murphy! Mr. Murphy! I gotta get out of here. Right. I can't concentrate. I can't blame you, dude. You know, you almost cut a teacher's head off. You know, it's the diary. If I didn't have the diary, none of this would have ever happened. What's up with this diary? I don't know what I'm saying. You guys keep playing. I'm gonna take a break. So went really well. But the walk home, I'm lucky I'm even around to talk about it. Hey, Tessa. You think your mom could give me a ride home? <laughs> you live five minutes away. Yeah, I know where I live. Are you scared to cut through the office park? No, I'm not scared. Oh, was little Alex afraid of the dark? Is he afraid the big bad boogie monster will eat him? You, you know what? Forget about it. I'll, be, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, can you just unplug the amp? Ow. Ow. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. You know, Tess, you should really fix these wires before one of us goes up in flames. Maybe that's what it meant. What? What meant? Is this that whole diary thing again? Oh, oh, no. No, what are you talking about? Something's up with you, Alex, and I'm gonna find out what. Diabetes is complicated enough. No, it won't. Yes, it will. No, it won't. Yes, it will. No, it won't. Yes, it will. Oh, easy, honey. Those ribs are gonna hurt for a while. Come on, go back to sleep. Sorry, guys. He's still pretty out of it. So... This truck, did it, like, actually flatten them? Oh, just the side of it when, when it swerved. Ouch. Mm. 
Doctor said he'll be much better tomorrow, just sore. Oh, excuse me. Sean? Don't you think it's kind of weird how Alex knew something was going to happen to him? What do you mean he knew? Oh, well, why else would he have wanted to ride home? Remember he asked if my mom could take him? Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean like he knew, knew. Poor Alex. I'm just going to look in on him real quick. Took it, didn't you? <laughs> took what? What are you talking about? So what if I did? Tessie, you have to get rid of it. I know it's cool to get a heads up on tomorrow, but it ruins your life. I don't think that's gonna happen. Neither did I, but it did. What happened to Sean and Mr. Murphy and me? It all happened because of the diary. It's totally dangerous. It wasn't the diary's fault, Alex. It was yours. You just didn't know how to use it. But you do. That's right, I do. Face it, you're just upset because you couldn't handle it and I can't. So, are we rehearsing today? Definitely. Dude, we're gonna get soaked. Hey, how'd you know it was gonna rain? Felt it in my bones. gonna die. I hope Alex is okay. It's pretty nasty out there. Trust me. If anything bad was gonna happen, I'd know about it. Is that right? What, are you some kind of fortune teller now? Something like that. What's the deal? Both ends need to be plugged in. Tessa, stop! Alex, what are you doing? The diary. I took it from your locker. You did what? Listen to me. It said you were gonna die. Whoa, you wrote that in your diary? No, I didn't. That's not what it said. I read it. It said, Dear Diary, I'm dead. Listen to me. We can beat this. It doesn't have to be right. You just have to be careful. Are you two, like, in some sort of parallel universe? The last entry was about the storm. I know what I saw. And I'm telling you, it wasn't there. Entries change depending on who's reading the diary. That entry was meant for you.
poor Alex. It's easy for the diary to tell his future because he doesn't have a future. You see, Alex is caught in a time warp. He will live the same pages of the diary over and over as a permanent resident of the Nightmare Room.